thanks for tuning in to yet another video infamous here once again coming at you with another video we're gonna be looking at my risers on this one guys uh, in case you were wondering yes uh, I did install these myself and yes the dealership did want uh, over a thousand dollars of labor just to install them so I was at the dealer bought the bike they asked me questions about any modifications I was thinking about I told them risers and as soon as I said risers they gave me a whole uh, whole journey of uh, their parts, the sales, the service. When you're buying the bike, don't say anything during the tour. You save yourself uh, about 20, 30, 40 minutes of uh, them trying to sell you crap. But uh, anyways, back to the uh, risers. I purchased these with uh, Speed Kings. And the reason why I purchased them with Speed Kings and not with uh, Get, Get Lowered was because of the uh, kit that they were selling. And at the time, they actually gave me about a 10% discount. So then, I ordered the uh, the risers, and I also bought the uh, bought the cable kit with them because they had it on there specifically for my model, my year, and uh, my bike. So then I go, I purchase the kit, and to my surprise the cable kit was actually the old school uh, Dyna it's a full kit and it doesn't have that little quick uh, quick adjustment cable like the uh, new uh, soft tails do that you know you, you could actually try it with Tim he actually got the kit which is just the upper part of the clutch but that was pretty much my only uh, complaint about it so far but everything else it's perfect so let me show you guys the cable kit now the cable kit was actually a pretty easy installation it was a plug and play all the uh all the uh controls all of my switches and everything came in in a nice neat little a nice and neat little uh, uh extension cables and that's what i liked about it it was super easy i didn't have to depin. i didn't have to depin. um uh, these cables and I didn't have to uh, solder or anything like that. So it was pretty simple, quick and easy. Let me turn off my Plex audio. You have this, you have this little bulge here, and that's from the from the clipping uh, extensions. So they have they they match up with your factory uh, clips on your wire, so you don't have to depin or solder or anything like that. So that's why uh, this is all kind of ugly and fat right here, but the fairing does a good job of uh, covering up all those wires. Overall, look look at the uh, at these at these extensions. I mean, honestly, it's pretty clean. I'm happy with uh, with the results. So when I pick the kit for these risers, this is the 10 inch kickback risers. These are the stock. These are the stock uh, Harley Davidson uh, bars that comes with the uh, with the uh, with the lowrider S. So 3.5 in rise and the 10 inch uh, risers that equals to 14 about 14 inches. So that's what I I that's what I purchased was the 14 overall bar height. Now make sure when you're looking at the uh, at these kits that you're buying, make sure that it's overall bar height because you don't want to get a 10 inch kit and you have 10 inch risers and it turns out that you're you're missing about four inches depending on your on your bar setup so if you have the drag bars then a 10 inch kit would probably do the job but for these yes you you need to factor in your risers on the overall bar height and as you can see this is you know it's not that uh high quality brake line it's not that uh high quality um product from uh, I mean I paid about 200 200 and, and uh, 220 230 dollars for this kit I know for a fact that you could buy the brake cable alone or the clutch cable together and that's about 200 dollars so just depending on on what you're spending and what you're buying this is not uh, this is not the high quality stuff but it works and it looks pretty good too as you can see uh, if you've seen other youtubers uh, you can see that this cable is looping through the frame and then around and around the tank and stuff like that. Look how clean this looks. This is a, like I said, overall bar height, 14 inches, and it looks exactly like the stock one. I don't know if you if you have this bike, look at your Harley Davidson uh, brake line, and it looks like it's just barely enough just to kind of get there. 
and look this is this is absolutely clean this looks stock it like I said it's not wrapping around the frame and you know working in and out of the tank like uh, some other installations and the clutch line the same thing look how clean this looks it's not too long I've seen uh, another youtuber uh, that has this clutch line sticking out and it's really too long but this one look at this it's it looks stock and as I mentioned this is the uh, this is the old school uh, uh, cable clutch adjuster is this and that's the one I guess that's the one uh, bad thing about this kit is the, the old school clutch cable you would have to get into your clutch cover and change this whole cable and that's what I had had to do so if you could get yourself just that top piece just the top piece of the clutch cable then you're gonna save yourself uh, easy about an hour of work of trying to feed that clutch cable all the way through and into your uh, cover over here to your clutch so far I'm happy with the risers I'm only I'm only 5'7 <clears throat> I'm only 5'7 and 10 inches is it just seems to be perfect with the uh, with the added 3.5 uh, rise on the bars themselves this is sitting about 14 inches this sits this sits about 14 inch high and me myself as you've seen on that camera um, my arms are slightly elevated they're elevated by about maybe an inch or two perfect uh, amount of rise for for, for myself 5.7 I'm very happy because I was looking at I was looking at the 8 inches and I was worried about the height me being 5'7 I was kind of wondering uh, would I be, still be safe enough to ride and make u-turns and stuff like that on the bike and no no worries if you're out there and you're 5'7 5'6 I strongly recommend just go higher and uh, you, you, I'm sure you'll figure it out you could always adjust the handlebars towards you or away from you you could move these controls you could uh, direct them wherever you need them just to kind of fit uh, your your style and kind of fit you safely so you don't go uh, falling off your bike or losing grip when you're doing a u-turn or something like that but I have another video on riser height if you're wondering you can go and check that out but honestly I 100% recommend some kind of a kickback if you have t-rex arms and you're short I recommend some kind of a kickback get those bars closer to you because of the uh, the rake on this bike I believe it's just a little bit uh, Closer I can't remember what it was, but I'll, I'll put it on the video the degrees on the front of the bike So it just leans a little bit kind of away from you overall because the, the wheels closer to you all right overall the handle the risers the stock bars they feel great like I said I'm 5'7 they feel good no complaint on the control, no complaint about vibration, no complaint about uh, anything other than probably you can't feed these wires in the, uh, you can't feed these wires into the bars because of the kickback uh, setup here. So you can't do that. And the other issue that I ran into is because of this, this isolated riser here from the kickback, when I go to remove my Plex audio, because look, at, I mean, it looks hideous without the frame, uh, these bars, these risers tend to rotate and move, and then the bolt gets stuck inside sometimes, and a little bit of a pain in the ass, but overall, very happy with the, with the bars, happy with the... Uh, with my seating, my posture, everything about it. So I'm not leaning forward. I'm, you know, it's just right. The kickback's perfect for for someone that's uh, my height. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Like the video if you like it, and <clears throat> subscribe to the channel. You know, thanks. You guys, ride safe. Later.